Hi everyone. Uh, a few weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to dilate a pupil. It looks pretty much like this. Uh, if you want to see that video, the link will be at the end of this description, but I'm just using that footage to show you how to turn a human eye into a cat's eye. Um, what we're trying to go for is something like this. Now, it's pretty easy to do. It's, pretty, it's fairly quick as well. So first of all, you put your eye footage in your Compute After Effects. And then you grab a picture of a cat's eye, which in this case is um, is this one that I found on the net. Pretty easy to uh, find any old cat's eye. Just type in cat's eye in Google Images, you'll find thousands of them. So basically you load your main, main eye footage in the comp and then put your cat's eye footage on top. Click the arrow next to it and hit transform. There are shortcuts, but this is the simplest way to show you how to do it. Go to opacity and change the opacity to about 70% so you can see both. Um, maybe 60% if you're not sure. And then you want to change the scale to, we'll try 70%. So if you move it around, you can see the size of the eye. It's pretty close. You want to rotate this one a little bit, so hit the rotate tool up here and just rotate it a little bit. You can do, you can always adjust this later if you want to. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to create a mask. So hit the mask tool up here. First I wouldn't, I think I'll drop the opacity down to about 60% on this one. Maybe even 50% for this case. Actually, what you can do is you can turn it off for now. So I'll have it selected it off. So now that it's selected, you can get your mask tool and you can trace around the eye. Now that's actually doing a mask of this, it's just not showing you what it looks like at the moment. So you go like this, just around the edge of the eye like that. You don't have to be too finessed with it, but the need you be the need you are is these it'll be. Okay, if you turn it back on, your cat's eye is sitting there, as you can see. And you go to masks, masks over here and click mask one and mask feather and change it to about ten. Just to feather the edge a little bit. You can even go a little bit more if you want to, maybe 15. Yeah. Now as you can see, that's sort of fitting the eye now as well. If you rotate it a little bit more, slightly, gives you an idea of how that can look. Then what you need to do is also clean up the mask a bit here. So you've got the hair of the eye of the cat, you want to take that out. Look, sorry, so you can select your arrow tool again and just move the mask over a little bit like so. And just tweak it where you need to tweak it. You may not even have to tweak yours at all but this is just something you should do. And you turn your opacity, go back to your mask again obviously. So um, got the cat's eye mask there, sorry. Go down to your opacity and change it back to 100%. And there's your cat's eye. Now the problem you've got now is if you press play, it doesn't move with your eye. So and that's, that takes away the realism. Now you can animate that frame by frame if you want to, it'll just take you forever. Or you can do a, a null object and track it. So you go layer, new, null object. Select it, press enter, and call it tracking data. Then you want to select your actual footage, cat's eye footage. So turn off the cat's eye and select your main footage and go over here to track motion. Now if track motion isn't over here, you can go up to your window up here and select it. You'll find it in there. Select track motion and select position and rotation. And just do edit target and make sure that the target is your tracking data. It could be something else. So just make sure it's the tracking data. It generally is, but 
just make sure it is that. And you've got these two squares. Now these give you two points. You want to pick two fixed points of your eye footage that um, that move with your eye. So you basically um, just widen that a little bit, and you probably want to pick say the corner of your eye over here. Maybe that lash there. And you definitely want to pick the uh, corner of your eye over here. So that shiny bit there. Just narrow it down a bit. Okay, now you go analyze forward. Now you want to make sure that this sticks with your eye. So this is a good way of finding out. If it doesn't, you can do it again. Try a better spot. So you go analyze forward. That was pretty good. So now that you've got that footage, go back to the start of your comp. Oh, before you do that, do apply. Sorry, do apply. X and Y and do OK. All right, now you've got all your tracking data. Now all the movement of that footage, the information from the movement of that footage is now in your tracking data null object. So all you have to do now is join your cat's eye footage with your tracking data by using the pick whip. If you turn your eye back on now and press play, it'll be stuck. As you can see. Now if the person's blinking, obviously you'll have to do a new mask of the lash coming down and up, which will be three or four frames every time it does it, just over the top. So we can go to that at another date if you like. Um, the other thing you can do is you can change the colour of this a bit as well. So you can change the cat's eye to not be so bright for instance because it's a bit bright so, and if you dull it down a little bit it may look a little bit more realistic things like that um, yeah but basically that's it so if you have any more questions feel free to email me uh, if you have a, another idea you'd like me to do an effect for feel free to email me all right till next time see ya